Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Gabe and welcome back to a brand new video. Now in this video, I'm going to give you some facts about Call of Duty which you probably didn't already know. The majority of you won't know these facts or if you do know these facts, the, the kind of facts which you'll think, oh yeah, I remember that, you know, like, I forgot about that but now, oh yeah, that's there and I might use that. It's kind of a reminder mixed with a, uh, a couple of new facts in case you didn't know them. So let's just jump right into fact number one, and that is that there is a mode called Nightmares Mode. So Nightmares Mode is a mode that you unlock after you complete the campaign. So once you've completed the campaign, you unlock a mode called Nightmare Mode. Oh my lord. Oh my lord, I was just shredding. Who saw that? Come on. Leave a comment down below if you saw that absolute melt. If you complete the campaign on any difficulty, you'll unlock a mode called Nightmares Mode. Now, Nightmares Mode is the exact same as campaign, but with zombies. So it's kind of a mix of zombies and campaign put together. There are a couple of things that you can do to get it without doing the campaign. I've done that, but I mean, I did that ages ago when I was interested in it, and I have since forgotten how I did it. So I won't be able to help you out. Maybe if you want to see that, I'll do a video on that and tell you all how you can get it without having to complete the campaign. So you probably already knew that fact, but that's just a little reminder to kind of let you know that the, there is the nightmares mode in the game, obviously. You can use it, it is still there. The next fact is the fact that you can play a four player campaign. Now this is the first Call of Duty when you can ever play a four player campaign so you can get your full squad on I mean who has more than four friends I mean no one has more than four friends so you can get your full squad on you can get on a uh, Call of Duty campaign and you can play it all together so this is the first Call of Duty when you can do this and if I was you I'd take advantage of that because you don't know when it's going to be back maybe it's going to be back for the Call of Duty remastered or not you never know do you let's be honest so if you want to play that Head on to campaign with your buddies and just get playing because I'm sure that'll be fun. If you think multiplayer is good, try campaign with friends, it'll be honestly it'll be class. Okay, so fact number three now. And do you guys remember a gun in the beta called the ARC 7? I think it was called, I believe. You'll probably remember this gun. It was so overpowered in the beta, it was ridiculous, but that gun, if you didn't know, is actually the KN44. It's the exact same as the KN44, but it's just been renamed to the KN44. If you didn't know that, go back and watch some beta gameplay and you'll see the ARC 7. And you'll think, hey, that's the, uh, the KN44. I'm not too sure why they changed the name, but all I know is that they did change the name. And it is now the KN44. Okay, so moving swiftly on into fact number four. Speaking about the beta, if you didn't know, there were a couple of weapons that weren't in the beta. Okay, so if you didn't know, there were a couple of guns that weren't in the beta. One of these was the SVG. I don't know what the numbers on the end of the SVG is. Actually, no, I might have a class. I do not. Oh, well. So I can't remember what the numbers on the SVG are. Also, that's not the only gun that wasn't in the beta. The Dredge and the Gorgon wasn't in the beta. The beta. So the Gorgon is the two hit. LMG if you didn't know quite a slow fire rate that wasn't in the beta and neither was the dredge which is the f the six fire light machine gun so there are a couple of facts that you didn't know probably about the beta okay so moving on to fact number five and I believe this is the most interesting fact out of all of these in this video and it is that three months into the game of Call of Duty which would be about January time right only 50% of the players who played multiplayer, so to play multiplayer you have to go through, you know, where you pick your first specialist and things like that, where it says like welcome to multiplayer. You go through all that and only 50% of those players reached rank 10 in three months into the game. If you think how short it takes to reach rank 10, I could probably reach rank 10 in two, maybe three games. And some people couldn't do it in three months. I know that some people would be playing the campaign, some be playing zombies. Stuff like that, but still, three months into the game and 50% of the players, like it's not even a small amount of the players, half the players haven't reached rank 10. You'd think more people play the multiplayer than the campaign and other game modes, but 
Clearly not, by those facts, more people was interested in the zombies and the campaign than the multiplayer. Either that or they just bought the game and uh, never wanted to play it. So, there are five facts that you probably didn't know about Call of Duty. Black Ops 3, if you did enjoy this video, leave a like. If you haven't already, subscribe. Mine's been Gabe, and I'll see you next time. Still prefer to ride along, captain in my styrofoam. Just me and myself and then my motherfucking microphone. Still prefer to ride along, captain in my styrofoam.